Hi guys, what's up guys, your boy S to the K, E to the T, C to the H, Sketches! Holding it down with a pretty Porsche, with a pretty Aku, with a pretty Trevor. And we are back again with another video. Did I, did I block you guys here? Yes, like... I don't think so. <laughs> Hi guys, so yes. Oh. Ah, it's been a minute. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. It feels like it feels like yes. You guys have missed you so much. But anyway, today is the first time you've been here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video, comment and share. Yep. Now let's get straight into, into today's the topic. video. So um we've like we've been missing in action and we are yeah. aware. Yeah. It's not like we've not been online. We are online. We've seen a lot of things that are happening here yeah. and there. But we've just been busy with life and life other things <laughs> yeah so guys um so i did some time ago i was telling you i think we were having a conversation i was telling you guys that um you know it was a short film i did and you guys i'm sure some of you guys were pe trying to personalize the conversation that maybe something that is happening between Porsche and sketch do you remember that when we did that video which one uh, who's who is more in charge in the house yeah yeah i remember that podcast sorry where people thought you were a bad really man fine. how is it done just really I feel like it's so far from my mouth. See, so yeah, I'm a bit. Good? I'm tall now. Are yeah, I good? think it's okay. You good? Yes. Okay. So I'm now tall, and so Eesh. yeah. <laughs> <It> <laughs> is, yes, yes, yes. I remember we're talking about domestic mm -hmm. violence. Exactly. And who is responsible for what and exactly. so in the house? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So guys, oh, uh, I actually did um a short film with yes. uh, Hilda Amabra. So. Uh, featuring Omarion Dramina on um, marriage issues. It's not basically marriage, like toxic relationship issues. And this is a master shot film I did. And I yeah. think you guys should actually go there. And show some love. And show some love. Like, watch it. Tell me what you think about the situation. And, um, you know, the link. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the thumbnail over there. But the link will do. But before we continue to that real film, let's see the trailer of it. have a single shame for coming home at this time. Besides, I was working and not sleeping around. That's what you're thinking. Are you mad? How dare you? You've always wanted power in this relationship more than more like trying to be the man. Only because I am a woman and you are a man, I'm supposed to shut up forever. Clear me! <laughs> I begged him to stop hitting me. Oh. Yet he continued till it went all dark. So, if you have a sister or a brother who is going through this, please save them before it's too late. Yeah. Domestic. Is, is, violence. Is, is it domestic violence? Domestic abuse. <laughs> no, I think sometimes love itself it's it's something else. Like we to me, so I'm fighting for the guys. I'm fighting for the lady. Yes. And guys, let's let's start having this conversation in the comment section. Do you know that if the girl didn't use such words to the guys, the guy will not have actually is that in the trailer? Yeah, no, like, they can go to watch it and come back. Do you get it? But if, um, you, you can also watch the full video, this full video, and you come so that we have a conversation about it. If the guy hasn't, the girl didn't see all the things. She didn't say anything bad. I've watched the whole video. The girl didn't say anything bad. She said, she said, if, um, uh, like, she's not like, uh, she, I think she made a question like, you've been sleeping in the house all this while, while I've been out there working like she, you don't she didn't say so, that sometimes uh, you she said that no he said i think he was like where are you coming from and she was like ah i told her i was i was going to come home late it's not like uh -huh. i was sleeping around yes if that's what you're thinking uh-huh and then the guy just slaps her like what is that why would you even slap me in the first place number one no. you're just sleeping in the house <sighs> i come back late you're lying there you're giving me attitude so why why are you telling me that what did i prepare why are you asking me what did i prepare am i your Kind of like your wife. If look, if you don't know, you guys don't know the video I'm talking about. As I said, the link is. But I'll just give snippets of that part, that particular part where we are talking about. That's that part where we feel like it's 
a conversation we need to have you know where like the guy waits for the lady the lady comes home almost midnight which is me she's me i yeah, see myself I, I see myself that's in her. Portia, she yeah. goes to work and close very late yes and she will come home and she will come and ask me baby is there any food at home because at least you are the one in the house you're in the house so is there food it's a harmless question oh did you prepare anything if you didn't prepare say no if you prepared say yes so so relax why is it that okay if maybe i didn't prepare food then yeah like kind of like, like i'm like wow so you're why, why should you what be exactly wow? are you doing in the house you being home what were you doing and i'm actually now why are you coming home late I was working. Like the lady says, I am working. I even texted her that I'll be coming late. I'm working. I'm working on my career. If I get See, that promotion, won't you be happy? Won't, am I not bringing it home? Look, sometimes, I think, uh, um, that's what, this, this is the situation, that's why most men want to marry women, ladies, and make them housewives. You get it? And if, if someone is making you a housewife, that doesn't mean that, like, is making your housewife so that uh you you can still be in the housewife and still demand for like big things it's what i have that's what i'll give you so if you don't like it take it like that <laughs> nah no why for no? me i don't see anything wrong with this we are a partner it's like partnership yes i bring to the table you also bring something to the table so, so you if don't, you at don't this want... point you are in the house so I, I, if i want you part... to be a housewife right now you don't i won't do it you because i see we are not ready you we are not ready for f- for one person to stop working. No, if I'm if I'm ready, like I have abandoned. No, but I'll be bored. I need to be busy too. I'm human. Okay. I can't be just be in the house doing okay. nothing. I need to do something. I, like I have that potentials. Answer. I have a lot I want to achieve as yeah. a human being. What if yeah. tomorrow doesn't happen with you? What if you 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 hurt me? Yeah. Or what if you leave me? Or what if you you travel and leave and I'm here alone? Mm. Like I would want to do something for myself. Mm. But I also think men. That thing that society is, ego, ego. African society is saying that men are supposed to not to do anything. Women are supposed to take care of the house. Women are supposed to cook and all that. Mm-hmm. People have to stop. Like people have to erase those things from their minds. We are in the twenty what century? Twenty first century. Uh-huh. Everybody is educated. The woman is bringing to the table what uh-huh. men can do. Women too can do. Uh-huh. So no if more. if I am not home and uh-huh. you are home, uh-huh. just try and make sure there is something for us to eat no, but if you're also not it, home it, it, i also make sure there's something to eat because i, 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 I like it when you're saying it that way when we are doing the groceries mm-hmm. i'm definitely bringing some money to buy to buy the groceries okay. so let's be there for each other okay but you see sometimes eh, a man's ego is like don't rubbish it in my face that i'm home not doing anything or maybe don't rubbish it in my face because i come home very early and you work so late so it makes it feel that like you work so hard than the other partner because sometimes it's not about you you decide to close lit and you see sometimes when you are a married woman and all that you are expected okay fine this in this short family they are actually not married but when you are in a relationship and you are not coming home on time you are maybe you are coming home at 11 midnight 12 midnight like who does that do you get my point there's traffic like a lot of factors going into this or oh, you had an, a late meeting uh-huh. you're trying to put things together and you know the higher mm. you go the more your responsibilities mm-hmm. so there's a lot to be done and you're just trying to so how do you two. so agreed now if you let's say for instance maybe uh due to traffic or maybe like when you leave work around five though you miss a lot of traffic so sometimes you wait till like nine before you leave to the house what can you do see when you come home late what are some of the things you are supposed to do to make your husband not feel or get that violence in him? Like maybe think that maybe maybe my wife is cheating. That's why she's coming home late. What? So the person that you, you the women have to. We are transparent find ways. with you. Me like this. I I don't mind if you call me at any time. Video mm-hmm. call. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to text you that hey, I'm today I'll be late. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm going to communicate. I'm not mm-hmm. just going to come home like that i'll mm-hmm. communicate yeah because it is good to communicate and in this short film the lady communicated she said i texted you up that i'll be coming late so why are you upset then he starts saying because your salary is more than mine like who is talking about salary here no, Personally, but do you know do you know some women because they feel like their salary is bigger than the men they feel like they have more power than the men then also push for your salary to be more do extra things get more salary uh-huh. i don't see it to be a competition i okay. just see it 
as what are you bringing to the table your mm. salary can be small but what are you bringing to the table that's all i'm asking okay anyway guys um there is more to this conversation i don't know whether you guys would like us to continue but this is something most i'm just trying to side by the man but me i, I don't i do things differently because you know this girl she's a naughty one but i love her the same i love him too the <laughs> so um most things these things are actually happening in marriage marriages are breaking because of this situation i just some, think it's lack of communication yeah i think it's, it's lack of communication more. because sometimes like my wife tells me that oh if i leave office around six I it would, I'll still get home at nine. So I understand that so I even nine. Eight and then come. Yeah, because less traffic, you know less stress. This country less stress and all that. So And also if I'm sure when I have kids, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna come home that late. I'll consider you might. I might leave at four no, rather. Babe, you might because let me tell you why. You might because sometimes, especially when your your work environment is uh, very conducive enough that uh, your kids can be there and um how do you say it? Uh, maybe I uh, like close from school and join you at your work. I'm just saying something. Join you at your workplace and close at that nine. Did you get me? Some some companies have to sleep by eight, please. That nine o'clock is not going to happen. Baby, so, sketch you be sleeping at eight. Oh. You know, when I was a kid, I used yeah. to sleep at eight. Even I remember those days we were so young. I don't know if you remember this thing, home sweet home. Yeah, yeah. You know they used to show it after news. Yeah. After news, they would say go to bed, madam. <laughs> go to bed because yeah. you are young you are, yeah. you are like i was like i think i was eight nine years yeah so young class yeah. three class four what are you going there to be doing after after, after nine, nine o'clock? o'clock like no so i will make sure i will put in like i'll make sure i close at four two so that i can take care of your children yeah but now that i'm single i don't really have a lot of responsibilities mm-hmm. this is a time to put to in a out. lot of work so okay. by the time you have responsibilities you have mm-hmm. you've reached that point in your career where you mm. can make your own decisions and mm. say hey today i'm leaving at two here i'm mm. doing this mm. do you get it i think i think it's laudable so guys um let's know what you think about let's this. think can about this rush there. rush there if you know like if you've like rush there watch the subscribe whole to the channel subscribe to the channel watch the it's on hilda's hilda amon brussels channel and hilda is actually very sweet yeah she's a sweet lady <laughs> <laughs> anyway so um guys uh um, this brings us to the end of this video and uh make sure you like comment subscribe and uh tell us what you think about the show bye, bye. <laughs>